What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Jordan here back with another one. It's been a couple of weeks and uh, we've just been laying low here in the summer. Uh, you know, this video is essentially about what we do while we wait for the crops to mature because everything's growing, of course, as it should. We haven't gotten much rain to update you guys on that. It is quite the drought in Montana, the Dakotas, Minnesota, at least these areas, but stuff's growing and going right along. We'll probably have an early harvest because of the dry crops, something we will update you on in this video as it goes. Just wanted to say hello. Welcome to the video. Everett's here with me. We're about to head over to the farmyard, get started for today. We're gonna move some wheat that's in a different yard in a little grain bin, get that out of that bin into a truck and over to our main farmyard and also doing a little bit of work on our oldest tractor today. Thank you for watching. Let's get started, Buck. Okay, so project number one is the 2640, which is our oldest tractor here at Stoltz Farm. This little guy right here needs a little bit of paint work. Got to keep that John Deere green nice and shiny, you know? So we're going to be painting the hood where we got all of these nice early Christmas in July presents from birds and also some of this rust on this nice beautiful green color so we're just gonna have to kind of tape off this logo where it says john deere 2640 tape that off so we don't paint anything tape around this tape around the gas tanks and all that and we should be able to just leave it on here and cover this with paint uh just to kind of update it a little bit protect that metal uh so i'm going to start by sanding that that is the first thing we're going to do so i got to find some sandpaper and start refurbishing that tractor So if you're not aware, Stoltz Farm Incorporated is made up of a couple different areas. And the crop tour I did this year, we kind of covered a few of those. By the highway is kind of one area, up on the prairie roads is another, and then here around the yard is another. So we keep all of our grain obviously around the farmyard and our big grain bins out back. But there is actually some more grain that is hidden away. And this hidden grain is over in one of our other yards we used to park machinery in and stuff like that it's actually my uncle's yard there's some real old grain there decades old and not very much wheat but we're gonna haul it out today use either the drag auger but with that old grain and all the dust the drag auger kicks up we'll probably use the grain vacuum i think that'd be a little bit easier even though we'd have to pull it over with something we use one of these little augers off in the distance to auger into our truck and get that grain out of there and into this yard. That's the job, but grain quality is of the utmost importance, as you know. So we will be checking that grain pretty closely for bugs and other sketchy things, things that would be alarming to a grain elevator. Hi. That's kind of the critical part is, what does that grain actually look like if we can actually use it or if we're just emptying the bin out to get the bin empty? If I sound out of breath, it's because I've been climbing bin stairs here for the last 20 seconds. Here at the top of Stoltz Farm. Look at that. One of the jobs on the to-do list today is to check these bins for weevils. We have these little weevils that will occasionally get in the wheat. It's important to check once in a while, especially when the weather is this hot. I'm up here to check for weevils, see what we can find, hopefully nothing. Well, a 
sunflower should feel cold not hot if it feels hot then there could be a problem feels nice and cold to me and first look no bugs or anything sketchy and upon further examination no weevils in this bin three more to go i'm gonna knock those out and then start getting stuff hooked up for this little trek over to the other yard to get some of this older wheat we'll check that for bugs load it out of there use a few of our tools in the tool belt that's today's project you know it's kind of what we do while we're waiting for the crops to grow in fact let's go check on the crops real quick first This is one of the spots we've been checking over the last few videos here as the crops have been growing. This side is wheat, this side is barley, so it's a good little location to kind of check on some stuff. Wheat's coming right along. It seems to actually already be turning color, as you can kind of maybe tell in the camera. Some of the tops here are starting to look a little bit more brown and dry instead of green. And we're kind of seeing similar things with the barley, which, you know, looks real thick right here, a little thinner out there. That's to be expected with this dry weather, but stuff is progressing very quickly. The barley's not totally even. Some stuff is a little bit further ahead than other stuff. The wheat, on the other hand, is actually more even. So we don't know what the order will be when it comes to harvest time, but we'll play that by ear, of course. Um, but it's coming right along, I guess. Starting to get some kernels and stuff like that forming. Let's sacrifice a wheat stock here to check. Here's a little wheat head, busted open, and... Uh, See if there's anything in here i choose you so we're starting see that we're starting to get some action in there and it shouldn't be long now still probably looking at august or very 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 late july before the harvest of these grains canola is down the road a ways um let's go check on that i think there's some soybeans on the other side that'll give you a good picture and then sunflowers uh take my word for it they're growing they're not the tallest ones, just like last time in the other video, but they look all right. Let's buzz down and see the canola and talk about the early harvest some more. Not a lot has changed since the last couple of videos when I did this little crop check, but you can see it's pretty tall coming up to my waist and these are the little pods which are a little bit more formed than last time they're still pretty chewy feeling things too dry and crispy yet so with one of the layers peeled back you can start to see the little canola seeds forming in here little round seeds these will be black in no time and these plants to harvest them as you guys saw last year we need them to be dried up and we anticipate that happening pretty quickly this year. The dry weather speeds things along and all this heat, so that's why we're expecting an early harvest. Keep you updated on that as we go, and uh, I think it's time to get that wheat home and continue on with the chores for the day. So this is the rig of choice, this Brandt auger. Got it hooked up, at least I think it'll stay on the way there, it's not too far. Got to fill her with some gas and make sure we have everything we need. Get the semi down there and get started.
loading. Like I talked about earlier in the video, we're gonna check on the quality of this wheat. We got the front full. The back is loading right there. And this is the wheat. So kind of dig around in here, see what we're working with. We have some gunk like this in it from just it being really old and that smells pretty bad. Gotta get rid of that kind of stuff. Um, check it out down here, see if we have any action. I mean, it looks pretty good besides a random chunk of moldy grain. A little bit of this kind of stuff. And that's a good sign. Since this is still cranking away in the back, give you guys an update on the beans too because we're over here by a soybean field here you go everybody stolt soybeans nothing like them little blossoms on here you can see these little purple blossoms so we'll finish up this truck no need for the drag auger or the grain vacuum tonight we're gonna probably get a good two or three loads out of here and we'll only need that at the end so not a big bin you can see it's this little guy right here and it looks like it just started to trickle out up top so time to adjust things Everybody, we are done. The truck is full to the weight capacity at the moment, and right now it's just backing up to the road, and we'll head on out of here. Crazy stuff, no bugs, nothing like that, just a few little chunks of the grain. This grain, we were talking about it while it was loading, gotta be at least 20 years old, probably about 25 years old, it's been in this bin. And this bin isn't in awesome shape, with cracks at the bottom, splits on the bin, it's not, the most structurally sound thing in the world. Definitely wasn't really expecting the wheat to be so nice for how old it is. So that's always a good thing. And that'll do it for another video, everybody. I know it's been a while, been a couple weeks. Right now, you know, we're laying low in the summer. Crops are growing, doing projects around the farm, and pretty soon we'll be gearing up for harvest, maybe in the next couple of weeks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you later.